a big hello to my favorite audience you on YouTube. Now, today, this is an unboxing and review of the Google LG Nexus 5 smartphone. And we're going to start off with the box, the blue box. Uh, I ordered the white edition of the 16 gigabyte Nexus 5. This is a German model, so it might have different frequency bands than other countries. Let's get in the box. It's a plain white box with the Google uh, logo in front. And we have the Nexus 5 inside. The front is complete black and only the, white, uh, the rear back cover is plastic and it's white. Looking at the side, we have the power button and the uh, SIM card. On top is the headphone jack. Left side is volume up and down and bottom is just a micro HDMI speakers and microphone. Front camera is available and some sensors on the front as well. Booting it up, we were greeted with the selection of the languages. We're going to start off with the German language and we're going to skip that, uh, the instruction to insert the SIM card. I can select both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. So I'm going to go ahead and use my 5 gigahertz. Although this is a new phone, we already had to install a 139.3 megabyte update, which can take up to five minutes and the phone will be restarted automatically. So, same process again, German is giving instructions for the SIM card, but now we only found 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and no more 5 gigahertz. This is a bit awkward, I have no idea why this happened and if they change something in the firmware. So we're just going to use the 2.4 gigahertz network for now. Um, I'm going to skip using my Google account just to get in the phone as quickly as possible. And we're going to accept all those. Just punch in my name. First and last. And then we're ready to go. So phone is ready to use and let's look. Um, the new Hangouts with the uh, text message similar to the iMessage is now included in this phone as well. So let's look in the settings and let's go down to info. So you believe that this is the Nexus 5 running Android 4.4 KitKat. So let's do some benchmarks on this one. I like the Sunspray JavaScript benchmark in 0.91, that's the older one, just for comparison. And the newer version is 1.0.2. We'll run both of them. I've run a couple of tests, and the lowest score on 0.91 came out to 757.1. And next up is the newer version, 1.0.2. Here again, I've run uh, multiple tests to see uh, how it scored, and the lowest score I managed to get was 729.7 milliseconds. Now let's take a chance while looking at these uh, high quality videos from the phone to talk about the build quality. I like uh, the build quality, it's simple, it's plastic on the back, but it doesn't feel cheap. It's still pretty good, not comparable to a metal finish or anything, but it's still very good build quality. So this video was recorded on the Nexus 5 phone. We got some wind noise as it was a little bit windy outside. The autofocus is a little pumpy while recording video, but it keeps track of the focus. This one was shot with flash and this one was without the flash in low lighting conditions.
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.